Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to look at some ap applications of percent of change, either percent of increase or percent of decrease. First, the area of a 10 meter by 10 meter garden is increased. So it is now 16 meters by 16 meters. And what is the percentage increase? Now, at first thought, maybe a person would look at these numbers 10 meters and 16 meters and think that the increase is 60% because the difference is 6 meters. But that's not so because we are going to look at the increase in area, not the increase in the side length. So let's first solve how much is the area of the garden. First and then. First, the area of the garden is 10 times 10, or 100 square meters. And then, finally, it is 16 times 16, or 256 square meters. And now, our formula for finding the percent increase. For that, you will need the difference, or how much the area increased, the actual area. And then we will divide that, or compare that, with the original area. So let's look at this one. We subtract these two to find how much the area increased, which is 156 square meters. And then we will compare that with the original area, 100 square meters. And basically, we want to find out what part is this of that. What part is the increase of the original? Now this here is a very easy calculation. The, these square meters cancel. And then we have 156 divided by 100. If you remember from your decimal division, if you think here's a decimal point, dividing by 100 means that you move the decimal point two steps this way. So it goes here, and the answer is 1.56. 1.56. I'm sorry. Now this is not yet a percentage. Uh, it is a decimal number. But remember, 1 would mean 100%. So this is 156%. That's how much the area increased. Now, a washing machine is discounted by 10% and then later by another 10%. And how much is the total discount percent? Discount percent? Now again, you might be fooled, or students might easily be fooled to think that the total discount is 20% of the original price. But that is not so. Let's look at it and see how it goes. That all is, seems like there's a problem because it doesn't tell us the price of the washing machine. So what do we do? Okay, I want to tell you a little trick. I know this can be solved without knowing the price. But if you don't know how and you, know, you just want to get going, just give it a price. And when it has to do with percent, it's always easiest to choose the number 100 as your price, as your number. So let's say that the price is $100 and see what happens. At first, it is $100. Then, after the first discount of 10%, the price is $90. And after the second discount, okay, we need to take 10% of this number and subtract. So 10% of 90 is $9 and subtract, so we get $81. Now let's look at the total discount percent using this formula, where we find the difference and divide that by the original price. The difference here is $19. And divide that by 100, the original price, and we get 19 over 100, which is, as a decimal, 0.19, or 19%. Now I want to show you that this does not, this answer does not depend on the price. Let's choose another price for the same washer. Let's say that it cost $200 at first. Then we discount it by 10%, which is $20, and we get $180, and we discount it the second time. Now 10% of this price is $18, so we subtract again 162. Again, we look at the difference between these two to find the percent, total discount percent, 
Okay, so the difference between 200 and 162 is 38. And divide that by the original price, 200. And this one simplifies, if you divide both by 2, it simplifies to the fraction 19 over 100. So we get the same as here, 19%. The total discount is 19%, not 20% that you would get if you add 10 and 10. Okay? Stars sometimes use this trick to make it sound like that the discount is more than what it actually is. They discount something by a number and then discount it again by, by another amount. I'm going to show you the solution one more time using a variable. And this means we're using algebra. And if you're not familiar with algebra, then don't worry about this solution, okay? The original price is P. You know, we don't know it. We, we have a variable for it. And then after the discount, 10% of the P is taken off, 10% of the price. So 90% of the price is left, which is 0.9P, right? And then it is discounted another 10%. That means that 90% of this is left. So we multiply this quantity here by 0.9, which then gives us 0.81p. That's the final price. And now we take the difference between these two, which means you subtract, and you would get 0.19p, right? This is 1p minus 0.81p. And then divide by the original price, which is again P. Now here in this expression, the P's will cancel. We will get 0 0.19. Just play number, that, and it is 19%. So the discount percent indeed does not depend on what the price of the washing machine actually is.